Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode of Revit Boost. In the previous video, I presented my first impression on the generative design tool in Revit 2021. In this video, we will learn how to edit the provided example and how to make new studies. Basically, the generative design studies are some form of dynamo scripts, so let's just open the three boxes example to understand how it works. The example scripts can be found in documents, AEC generative design, and we have our three examples. So I'm just opening the three boxes message. So guys, as we can see here, it's a normal Dynamo script. However, there are some few stuff that we need to make sure it's there. First of all, we have our inputs. First, we have some inputs. It's necessary to declare some inputs with margins. So as we can see, we have our inputs here where an initial value is set, but also it's very important to have our minimum, maximum and step. The reason for this, that the generative design tool will take this minimum and maximum and perform its studies based upon these numbers. And then we have our outputs. Mainly in this example, we have a surface area and floor area. And finally, we need somehow to pass our elements to Revit. And as we can see here in our Revit packages, the generative design package comes installed by default with the new, uh, with the new Dynamo 2.5. And now to understand this better, let's make our own two box study. So as we can see here, I have my groups responsible for creating boxes. I also indicated my inputs. For the second box, I wrote some code so that the origin point of the second box is related to the first box. And then I have also my output. I tried to imitate the original example, but make it much simpler. So beside my outputs, so beside my outputs, and inserting element to Revit, I have some extra stuff, like for example, coloring the geometry. And now let's make it a generative design. To make our script a generative design, all we have to do is give it generative design, export for generative design. What Dynamo is telling me that I need to make a first run to make sure that my scripts is okay and can be converted to a generative design. So I give it a run. I have my validation. I can add an image. So now I write my description. I'll just clear cache data and give it an export. Okay guys, that means that my studies has been exported successfully. That's it guys, check my previous video to know how to use the generative design. And you can download the script from the link below in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to share, subscribe and visit our website for some cool stuff. Thank you.